Well, hello there. Can you believe the TV series All in the Family was released 52 years ago? Our generation grew up attached to TV screens. I think it would be fun if you and your family sat on the sofa and watched the series again with the entire cast of Then and Now. Who passed away and who still looks great today? Find the answers in our video. Okay, let's check it out together. Carol O'Connor played the character Archie Bunker in the series when he was 47 years old in 1971. We regret to inform you that on June 21, 2001, he passed away from a heart attack at the age of 76 in Culver City, California. Hey, let's go ahead. Come on. All right, put it in. <laughs> I said, Bob Daly asked me to do it. Well, what did he say? I said, he said he'd like to get at least another year out of this show. It's a question of... Uh... Sherman Hemsley played the character George Jefferson. He was 35 years old when filming in 1973. We regret to inform you that on July 24, 2012, he passed away from bronchial carcinomas at the age of 74 in Texas. You gave me $20 when you picked up your cleaning just now, and I gave you $18 change. Well, I remember, so what? So my $18 was good. This 20 At that point. Because you can't just throw a character together all at once, you know. So that was just like, uh, so it was just all my P's and Q's, and, uh, and I know what, what my purpose was for coming. You know. Vincent Gardenia played the character Frank Lorenzo in the series when he was 51 years old in 1971. And sadly, on December 9th, 1992, he passed away from a heart attack at the age of 72 in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. What do you think? Gee, I don't know. They're certainly different. That Edith seems so timid. Oh, that's just on the outside. Trust my... The uh, clear blue sky, and they said it was a Blake Edwards picture. I said, oh, yes, my God, you know, even before I read the script. So it was primarily because of... Uh... Liz Torres played the character Teresa Betancourt. She was 29 years old when filming in 1976. Now she is currently living a happy life with family and friends at the age of 75 in the Bronx, New York City. thing is that for sick people to look at. If you have been looking at the centerfold in Play Girl, there is something else that's wrong with you, Papi. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, the, I, I, I did it. I, I did an opera singer. I, my family. Uh, and, uh, and so I... Sally Struthers played the character Gloria Bunker Stibbick in the series when she was 24 years old in 1971. Now she is currently living a happy life with family and friends at the age of 75 in Portland, Oregon. Daddy, you got this for me. It's so sheer. I mean, you can see right through. It doesn't matter though. It's Mel Brooks. It can yes. go wrong and it still works. And yeah. it's still right. Whatever's wrong is yeah. still right. That's and right. you know, I don't think I don't think people. Did you know out there? Jean Stapleton played the character Edith Bunker in the series when she was 48 years old in 1971. Sadly, on May 31, 2013, she passed away from old age sickness at the age of 90 in New York City. <laughs> I ain't gonna call Estelle, and I ain't gonna write her, neither. My mind is made up. Just broke his hot air every time. It was a laugh. And uh, so I think I said it. Rob Reiner played the character Michael Meathead Stivick. He was 24 years old when filming in 1971. Now he is currently 76 years old and living his life to the fullest in the Bronx, New York City. It's one anyhow. Well, I think they just don't like the idea of America fighting an illegal and immoral war. Well, if they we'd do a show at 5.30, and then we'd do some notes, and then we'd get another audience in, and we'd do another one at 8 o'clock. And we'd take the best of both shows. They'd... Jason Wingreen played the character Harry Snowden in the series when he was 56 years old in 1976. We regret to inform you that on December 25th, 2015, 
He passed away from old age and weakness at the age of 95 in Los Angeles, California. Heating bills are going right through the roof. Now, Art, you got to get out of there. Yeah, yeah, the heating bills are terrible. Well, why move for that? Why don't you just insulate your attic? <laughs> yeah, you're right. You're, it was a pretty easy job. <laughs> so, uh, uh, Kirshner gave me a point or two that he wanted me to change on the reading. B. Arthur played the character Cousin Maud. She was 49 years old when filming in 1971. We regret to inform you that on April 25, 2009, she passed away from lung cancer at the age of 86 in Los Angeles, California. Blimey! No! Because of Franklin Delano rules about the first creeping socialist. He brought the country back from the Depression. And dumped us right to the middle of World War II. As a matter of fact, um, my formative years uh, were spent doing imitations. Danielle Brissaboy played the character Stephanie Mills in the series when she was nine years old in 1978. Now she's living a healthy life with many passions at 53 years old in Brooklyn, New York City. She got better. She couldn't come back. Ah, oh, why not? She was killed in a car accident. I'm part of the club, so that that's kind of was one of the big achievements for me in my career was finally getting my VMI award. Talk a little about this career. That they... Betty Garrett played the character Irene Lorenzo. She was 54 years old when filming in 1973. And sadly, on February 12, 2011, she passed away from an aortic aneurysm at the age of 91 in Los Angeles, California. Hugging Archie. Actor, very good actor, but I had never seen him do comedy, and where he came up with this character, I will never know. Let me know who's your favorite character from the TV series All in the Family, and leave your comments under this video. Remember to support us by liking and subscribing to the channel, and pressing the notification bell to receive my upcoming videos. I can't wait to share more good memories with you. Thank you, and see you soon.